The production can be done either within your company, but you can also subcontract your production away. Yes, Odoo does that too. Let's see how. First of all, we have to tell Odoo that we're going to subcontract the production. To do that, we're going to create a new routine. So let's go on the menu routine and create a new one. We're going to call it subcontracting. And the important thing is to set a product location. I will tell Odoo that we're going to subcontract in Hammer Inc. subcontracting. Let's have a look at this production location. As you can see, it's a supplier location, and the owner of this location is Hammer Inc. Okay, I'm going to save it, and I'm going to save my new routine. Once I have created my routine, I have to link it to a bill of material. Let's do that. I'm going to take the product table and link it to my new routine subcontracting. OK, so now we are ready to create the table and subcontract the production. I'm going to create a new manufacturing order for the table. As you can see, Odoo automatically sets the right bill of material and the right routing. I'm going to save it and I'm going to confirm the production. If you do remember, the product table has two components the wood panel 300 and the leg. And the leg itself has two components as well. So, First of all, we have to trigger a new manufacturing order for the leg to get the raw material and then produce the leg and then we will be able to send the components leg and wood panel 300 to Hammer Inc. Let's do that. First of all, let's run the scheduler on the warehouse menu. I'm going to run it. Okay, I'm com coming back on the manufacturing module and let's see the new manufacturing order created for the leg, which is this one. Okay, I'm going to produce my legs. I confirm and here is it. So now I'm able to get all my components to produce a table. Let's go on the last one for the table. If I check this, I will have enough components for a production for my table. So I have all the components that I can send to Hammer Inc. To send it to Hammer Inc, let's go on the warehouse module as you can see here, there is a new transfer which are ready and the destina destination location is Hammer Inc. subcontracting. The source document is the manufacturing order 29, which is the one we just created. And I'm ready to transfer my product. Here it is. All my components are now in Hammer Inc. subcontracting. Of course now, when you get the product back, the final product table, you have to mark the production as done. So let's do that on the manufacturing module. Take the last manufacturing order for the table which is this one. 
let's mark it as done. And that's it. We just did create a manufacturing order and we did subcontract the production of the final product.